The national elections that are coming up in two months boil down to three key deciding factors. First would be likability, uh, and that'll best be determined through the debates that are coming up both at the presidential and vice presidential levels. There, uh, based on the polls we've seen, uh, would give the edge to President Obama. Second uh, will be a spending down the home stretch. Um, even though President Obama had a good last month, would still, in that category, give the edge to Governor Romney. And then the third, and what arguably should be the most important factor, is uh, job creation. This election is one for Governor Romney to lose, but where he well may lose it is if he's unable to articulate why free markets and entrepreneurship carry the day and are the ultimate source of job creation and growth. Uh, from an economic perspective, looking whether we compare Western Europe to the United States, Japan to the United States, socialist systems to the United States, government doesn't do as good a job as the private sector in job creation. There's a natural fit for a candidate like Governor Romney to say, look, we can rely on ourselves to create the potential for the future. Critically, though, it will depend on uh, the crispness of his message, his ability to articulate it, and then wild cards, whether we have a spike up, let's say, in oil prices, as we've seen in the recent attacks on the Libyan embassy and uh, the effect on uh, crude oil, whether Europe still falls apart and that creates uncertainty and slower job growth, uh, how the job numbers appear over the last two months. So third critical factor, bottom line, jobs, it's Romney's to lose, but whether he can articulate the message remains uh, an open question.